because the Lord is trying to get you to understand, and young ladies to understand something. You need to be careful about who you allow to step in your life. Yeah, they may look good. They may talk a good game. I had a rap better than anything. I was proud of my rap. I used to look in the mirror and rap to myself. I convinced myself I was good. And I could tell a lie sweeter than anybody. I could roll it off my tongue to the point to where I even believed it. Amen. That's the way it was. But then the Lord says, all you did was step into a situation for your own benefit because you never once thought about the children and the children became neglected. And I tell you today, it has not changed. I may be an old man, but that's when young men coming up with a stepping in mentality. Amen. And there are some young ladies ready to open up to allow those young men to give a stepping in mentality. Yes, I, I know I'm not alone. But the Lord says I have to confess this to help somebody. Because as long as you in a situation and you call yourself a stepdad and you have not yet distributed any godlike characteristics to the children, you've just been stepping in. Yes, you satisfy the woman. Yes, you make her feel good. Yes, you give her things. Yes, she smiles and she does the things that you want. But what does the children receive? What are they receiving? Because most of the time, you're just making sure that you keep your distance. Mm. The Bible says, man, that provide not for his own house. One thing I realized, every house I went to, if that lady said, you with me, it became my house. Because I had the mentality, I'm the man of this house. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. <laughs> every time a man got with a woman, he automatically felt like, I'm, I'm the man here. I'm, I'm the man of this house. But he forgot what the Lord says. If you provide not for your own household, you're worse than an infidel. Then the Lord told me, he says, you need to make sure that stepdad understands that the three things that he thinks has got him being a stepdad is not what God said he needed to provide. Yes. All right. There are three main things that every man proclaims himself to be. When it comes to be a provider, yeah. a roof over the head, food on the table, and clothes on their back. When a man says, I, I'm a provider, I go to work, I do this, he hadn't understood. You just stepped in a situation because without you, she'd have still had it. Amen. She still would have had Amen. food on the table, Amen. roof over her head clothes on her back. That's not what the Lord wants you to provide as a stepdad. See, those are the things that the Lord says, I will supply your every need. I don't know a woman that I like that show that says I can do bad. But most of the time a woman ain't got to do bad by herself. She's doing pretty good. The only thing she's missing is that other body next to her. Hello, somebody. Don't, don't look at me funny now. See, you got to understand what is it that the Lord wants you to provide as a daddy? What is it that you're supposed to be providing? If the Lord supplies their needs, and which those three things are their needs, roof over their head, clothes on the back, food on the table, and you stepdads out there think I'm lying, leave her and see if she hurt you. She ain't gonna hurt. She'll miss you because you're snoring, you're loud and talking and cussing and raising sex. She's gonna miss that. She's gonna miss that because she hopes so much for you to change. She's gonna miss it. But you need to realize that that is not why the Lord opened up a door for you to become in oneness with her. Not so that you could get pleasure for yourself, but so that the will of the Lord would be fulfilled. He wants a man there to provide for that household. 